Hey, what's happening, everybody? My name is Viva. Welcome back to another vocal tip video. Now, if you've seen my channel before, seen any of the videos, you might notice this is the first one that has a part one by the name. That's because some of the subjects I'm going to talk about today, I'm still kind of studying, still kind of researching how they work exactly. A buddy of mine who knows way more about it than I do has been talking to me about it. We've been doing some experimentation with this vocal style, what I'm talking about, and that style is Kargira. Now, we've been figuring out there's different forms of this sound, different ways it can be created, different ways it can be implemented into screaming, yada yada. So I want to make a part two when I get to the point where I understand that better. But um, basically what I'm talking about in this video is what is Kargira? How can you make it? And why would you want to make it? What is it used for? And how can it be used in screaming? So first off, what is Kargira? So basically Kargira is, uh, it's a funny word, it's spelled K-A-R-G-Y-R-A-A. -A. It's um, Mongolian, I believe. And uh, you might have heard it referred to as Tuvan throat singing or Mongolian throat singing, the area Tuva in Mongolia, if I have that right. Uh, a lot of the tribes there would use this style of singing in, I believe, either religious or just cultural use. And that's where it's most prominently used. So basically what it sounds like for, sorry, just get that out of the way. It sounds like it's this, you probably heard it before, it's the, the buzzer voice. I haven't warmed up all day and haven't screamed in like a week, so it doesn't sound great, but yeah, that's it. I That voice. So what is this voice? First off, so basically when you scream, when you do almost any form of screaming, you're going to use these little doohickeys in your throat, talked about them before, called the arretinoids. Now, these arretinoids are, they're basically these two little balls that are located on each end of your vocal folds, and when you talk or sing, they come together, but they don't usually vibrate, and vibrating them adds that extra layer. It's like two voices at once, you know, it's like, you can still hear my normal voice under there, but you got this buzzer voice over top. So, these arretinoids, these cartilage, are also what is used in quote-unquote fry screaming. And they're pretty much used in every form of scream, whether it be this quote-unquote false chord, fry, whatever. Uh, it's using gritty singing. And so basically, I would recommend any person trying to learn how to scream, learn how to do Kargira, because it is like one of the stepping stones to figuring out how to scream. Because, I mean... My personal technique, for example, a great example, is literally just Kargira combined with compression. So you take, uh, combine it with a certain degree of compression, which is about right here, where I kind of sound like Stan's dad from South Park. Kill me, Billy! And that's all it is. It's nothing complicated. It's just that. So, I mean, you can do a lot of cool shit with Kargira. So how do you make the sound? This is something that I've been, I had a couple vocal lessons recently, I was trying to, oh crap, my pen. <laughs> trying to figure out a good way to explain it to some people I was doing a little vocal lesson with, and really the best explanation I like to go with, um, well there's two. The first one is a mental thing, it's really just like a closing your eyes and imagining type deal, so like, the way I explain it is close your eyes, imagine you're on a game show, you got one question left, you're gonna win. They ask it, and you know it, and you hit the buzzer. Sounds the buzzer make. Just do it without thinking about it. Just me, 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 me. Just do it. And a lot of people who I see try to learn the sound, I will say. They do it, and then they laugh. They're like, oh, that sounds dumb, you know. Don't be afraid to make dumb noises, because to get good at any kind of harsh vocal technique, you have to learn that you're going to be making some stupid fucking noises until you make the stupid noises that we actually want here. So don't be like, you know, laughing at yourself like, oh, that's stupid, that can't be right. No, like, on multiple occasions, I've been trying to teach someone Kargira. They've made it, they've almost exactly made the sound that I'm talking about. And then they were just laughing like, oh, you know, I can't do it. I'm like, no, you literally just did it, though. Like, but you're not taking your own self seriously. There's a cat here. What's up? Liam, say hi. You want to say hi? You gonna help me do the true cults? Yes. That's what I said, man. <clears throat> okay. But, um, so, there's that method. 
there's the essentially just the mentality. It's kind of like how you hear some people say, oh, imitate a dog when you're learning how to scream. This is sort of like that. It's just imagining a buzzer. What is a buzzer? No. Or, or another example is um, tires squealing on the highway. <coughs> Something like that. Liam, are you helping me do the screams? Huh? I don't like you. Okay, I kind of like you. And uh, so once you have this Cargira, this sound down. Oh, I didn't explain the other technique. Uh, the problem is there's just not a lot of ways to explain this. Um, the way a friend of mine explained it to me was literally just by saying kind of clear your throat and combine that with like a chesty note. So this is the way I learned it. So you got like a... <clears throat> <clears throat> They combine that with like an uh, 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 so you have that. Um, hmm. I was gonna explain this. I don't know. That's the whole thing. Is as I said, I'm trying to figure out um more stuff about Cargira. So this is probably the sloppiest video I've ever made, because I'm not entirely sure the best way to explain this really, because it's. For me and for a lot of people I know, it was just one of those sounds where they either just got it eventually, or I mean, I know a couple of guys who can scream just fine, but they still can't make the sound. So, when I understand more about it, I'll definitely update y'all, but to my knowledge, those are the best real only two ways I can explain it off the top of my head. But um, once you have Targira, essentially what you're going to want to do, for one, once you can make that sound, you're going to want to isolate it. You're going to want to get it to where you can do it no problem. You don't have to build into it. You don't have to, yeah, for lack of a better word, you just don't have to, you can just do it. You don't have to think about it. You can just, uh, 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 just back and forth, easy peasy, no problem. What this will allow you to do is essentially control or better control how much distortion is in your screen. So you could go for a more voicier style like hardcore shouts or if you wanted you could go towards gritty singing again use this as an example my scream and gritty singing literally gritty singing is like just dialing back the distortion a little bit so like when the passions play crumbling away and then we add on the distortion i'm your source of self-destruction that's really all it is is it, you can really control how much distortions in your so you can go for so, for example, you could go from a more shouty mid, like a Welcome to the free world, where nothing's as it seems! And then switch back to a more distorted mid Tell me, can you find a cure when you can't see and you can't feel the disease? It allows you to fluctuate and create this more emotional, flavorful type scream. Because you see a lot of bands out there who's just... It's just, it's all one thing. They don't switch it up. They don't really put a lot of oomph into it. It's like, compare Attack Attack to, like, Black Tongue. Black Tongue's vocalist. He really, he adds flavor to his screams. Whereas, from what I've heard of Attack Attack, a lot of it is just cookie-cutter, like, one-note lows. You know, just... Which can have its own. Uh, some people like that. Let's put it that way. But it's really going to hinder you to become a better vocalist if you just stick to the one cookie cutter monotone note. So that's really the best uh, or the most I can explain Cargera right now because it is one of those subjects when it comes to screaming I really didn't read that much into because only until recently that I understand how important it actually is. So I'll be working on a part two to this soon, hopefully, and uh, be able to fill y'all in some more. So I hope this helped somebody out there. Just a couple little quick tips, and yep, that's all, guys. Peace.